Bill Cosby is free after posting $1 million bail, but he's still facing a possible 30 years behind bars. Cosby was convicted of drugging and molesting a Temple University employee 14 years ago, and she is one of dozens of women to accuse the actor of sexual abuse. The sentencing hearing for the 80-year-old will take place in the next two to three months. The defense team for Bill Cosby says they plan on appealing the conviction. And joining us now is Lee Wolf Bloom, author of Brave is the New Beautiful and an expert in the Me Too movement. Lee, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Were you surprised by this, that it, finally there's a verdict, a conviction? I was surprised, but I was thrilled. Mm -hmm. Very excited. The first criminal case in the Me Too movement to finally have a verdict and a conviction is such a celebration for women. Yeah, it is interesting how uh, we saw in the courtroom some of the other women who have made allegations against Bill Cosby, right. just so emotional. Is that, as you look at that kind of, at the movement and the psychology of people who are accusers, mm -hmm. uh, that's a real thing, isn't it, where you see someone get punished? It you is feel a, like there's hope. It's a real thing, and the reality is we have to remember that it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. I myself um, had some sexual harassment happen in the workplace, mm -hmm. and nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So the reality is many people are going to fight for this, and nothing happens. Sure. The hope is that this is a movement where things start to change, mm -hmm. especially here in Minnesota with the you know, Congress p starting to pass something yesterday. Sure. Is fantastic. At yeah, the state house. But you cannot forget the behind the scenes, the behind the scenes of these women, what it has been like for them. It took her, Andrea, 14 years to fight this. Yeah. So 14 years of people pointing fingers, calling her names, still on Twitter yesterday, calling her names. And so I think this needs to be not about Bill Cosby, but about the women, the bravery and these women who have experienced trauma deep trauma in their lives, finally collectively saying, you know what, we're going to do this and we're going to fight like hell, which is awesome. I think a lot of people struggle with how do we make sure we are listening to these stories from victims and we're also not jumping to accuse someone before we right. know. How do we balance that with everything that's going on? I think it's really tough. A story came out yesterday about a congressman here in Minnesota mm -hmm. and the story is, it's hard to know what the truth is. I think we ask the question instead of the judgment. So we ask the question to the women, tell me more, let me hear your story. Mm -hmm. Before we rush into quick Twitter things saying she's a liar or she's not telling the truth. Because what's happened is people didn't believe. A lot of the women who came against Bill Cosby People didn't believe them. Well, sure, you think, like, how could this possibly right. mesh with this image of right. America's dad? America's dad. Yeah. I grew up, you know, I grew up thinking he was the dad. Of so, yeah, it's, it's hard to swallow, but he's a human who took his power and abused it. And we really need to be listening to these women and not rushing to judgment and allowing them to have their story told, which is a really fantastic mm -hmm. victory for the Me Too mm -hmm. movement and for women everywhere. Yeah, and this conviction, I think, will continue that. Thanks so much Bloom. for being here. The book is called Brave is the New Beautiful. Yes. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you.